Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial by IT Conflict, Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. And today's tutorial will be on a Toshiba Portache 705. And what I'm going to be showing you guys is just how to do two very simple um, component swaps or upgrades to the hard drive or the RAM in this particular system. So, let's begin. First thing I'm going to do, and this is before you work on any laptop is you want to remove the you want to remove the battery so what I'm going to do is just flip this over here and on this laptop you'll see two little switches and these switches should be marked this you're going to switch it to the unlocked position right over here you'll hear that click into place then you want to just hold the unlock switch over here and carefully slide out your battery now this system has been dead now for uh, at least a few hours. Um, typically what I do is I want to make sure that there's no juice in the system before I even start working in it. So you can also flip it over and hold your power button down for about 10-15 seconds and that'll just you know, drain anything else that's been left in there. So once we've removed the battery, it's not, re it's not plugged into anything, we're ready to begin the upgrades. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is going to be the hard drive. Now the hard drive in this system is located under this plate right here. Now what I was going to do was I was going to include everything in one video but I think it makes more sense for me to have two separate videos now that I'm doing this. I don't really edit these. I don't have time to do that. So um, I'll show you guys in this video how to remove the hard drive and then in a second video I'm going to show you guys how to remove and or upgrade the RAM. So, in this video, let's work on the hard drive. You want to take, oh, you want to take any screwdriver you have. This is just a, a Phillips screwdriver. Um, unscrew the one screw on there. It's it's a very fine tip. So what I'm going to do is look here for something that fits. This one fits perfect. This bit. Let's unscrew this one screw. Now, it, you would think that it should pop off, but wait a minute, it's not popping off. And in this case, if you feel like you're going to break it or it's bending the plastic too much, you can't take off, that's be, take off this plate. That's because it's not supposed to come off just yet. So, this particular system, the plate is, is kind of hid underneath the RAM plate. So, I'm going to also remove the RAM plate as well. And the way I do that is just these two screws on the RAM plate, screw one, screw two. That's it. I'll take my Isesimo, just pop off the RAM plate. There it is. You can see our RAM modules here. And now, wait a minute, there's one more screw for the hard drive plate. So this guy was hidden. Good thing we didn't pull it off or anything. Take off that one screw the screws stay attached to the plate so you don't have to um, you won't lose them or anything unless they're broken of course but it should now just pop off very easy so you can see we have two major components here within the system that have been that we can see we can remove upgrade swap anything we gotta do with them it's gonna be right here and this is your hard drive, this guy right here. And if you look at it, you can read the size of the drive and the speed of the drive. In this case, this one is, I believe, a 500 gigabyte hard drive and it's 5400 RPM rotations per minute. So, now how do we remove the, the hard drive? Well, in these thinner, newer systems, the drive is connected through a SATA cable. Um, you can see this ribbon right here plugged into it. Don't yank it out or you're going to have to replace more parts. But this ribbon, all you have to do is just gently detach it from the hard drive. So all I did, you can zoom in on this video if you'd like, is it was plugged in just like so. Gave a little wiggle and there it is. Here's our drive. So now you can either, either upgrade or replace this drive. You can go to Amazon.com or eBay or your local uh, technology retail store 
take them this drive or you can just take a picture with it on your phone and say this is what I need what do you have for me um, of course if you're upgrading the hard drive all your data is stored in this guy including your operating system so if you're planning to use the computer afterwards remember that you're going to one still have to extract the data from this system either through a different source or two uh, and two I'm sorry install the operating system again to make this a usable computer so once you have your new hard drive all you're going to do is plug it back in set it back down in place there we go put your hard drive plate back in there back in its place screw in the two screws that you see one and two and then you want to put your RAM plate is as, as well screw one and screw number two there you have it very simple guys if you have any questions or concerns please leave them in the comment section of youtube.com forward slash IT conflict you can also check us out on the web at www.itconflict.com there's our name old logo same name um, check us out also on Facebook come by say hi we offer free support to anybody on their friends anybody that follows us likes us go to facebook.com forward slash IT conflict and again this is Eric with IT conflict thanks again for watching another one of my videos take care